All right, so here we are getting ready to kick off the evening session. It's nice to be out of Trader Rehab and back into uh, the swing of things. So right now my account is at $5,549. I got 10 days complete, 80% winning because those first two days were a disaster. Max loss on day one. Day two, $1,000, a little more than $1,000 I went down. Basically in two days, it went from $8,039 down to $3,850 in two days. Most of that on the first day of my live account. How terrible is that? From a psychological standpoint, not a fun way to start. But uh, I have not, I've not had any losing days since. I went straight to Trader Rehab. And for me, Trader Rehab is still trading. It's just trading the micros and trading with like, you know, really small $50 risk rewards kind of thing. Uh, the YM, I stayed in that on the on the regular, the minis, just looking at $100 to $200 risk rewards and only the highest probability setup. So there's only a few trades in the YM. So with that, I was able to uh, now have 10 days, 80% winning days. So that's fantastic. Slowly fixing the average winning trade and the average losing trade. You know, when you have $3,000 losses and then you're looking at $50 winners, it's going to take a long time to recover that. But that's slowly coming back up. I'm finally up to 63% success right now winning trades. So that's slowly coming up too. That should get to 75% or so. And then, um, yeah, so there's my stats. Not great. Total days of $200 or more is only four. I had several days where I actually made more than $200, $250 in, um, or a little more than that on several days during my trader rehab. But commissions was so high with those micros. Like the one day I had $225 and I think I took $110 after commissions. So it's pretty brutal with uh, with those micros. Had I not gone to Trader Rehab, I would have made over ten grand in the last eight days. It would have been fantastic. But, you know, I got to do it. I got to protect my account. I was down at $3,850. I'm right there blowing this account up. So I had to do it. Uh, all good. There's always more trade coming. There's always more opportunities to make money. I can't be in a hurry. Got to do the things the right way. And that's how it is. So anyway, so tonight, hopefully I can start off the night with a bang, get uh, get some good trades in, make a few hundred dollars tonight. If I can get three to four hundred dollars tonight, take two or three trades, it'd be a really great way to start the morning. And then tomorrow, if I can pick up, you know, three or four hundred bucks, I might be able to add this account back to eight thousand dollars by the end of the week. But I'm going to take what the market gives me. I'm not going to force any trades. Got to play it smart. Still, still kind of in, you know, I'm out of trade or rehab, but I still got to like limp this account back above the 8,000 marker where I can really scale up and start to make some money. All right, everybody. See you on tonight's trades. Okay, so just jumped into gold here in the evening session. It's um, April. I don't even know what the day is. It's April 29th. What is my computer doing? No. April 29th. Just jumped into gold short. So let's see how this thing uh, go plays out here in the evening. I was a little nervous. I was getting in right at the bottom of this uh, support area, but it broke. So hopefully that means it's going to continue down and it's not just doing the fake out breakout to collect the, get rid of the longs, collect the shorts and then rip higher. I hate it when that happens. All right. Almost the target. Almost the main target. Stop, Phil. All right. I'm happy with that. Almost got to the main target. It got out a little early. Big giant candle like that. A lot of times I like to retrace and anything can happen after that. So... Big volume coming into this uh, this candle here. So then the question is, is, are there any sellers left? Or is it you know time for the buyers to come in? And if there's a bunch of shorts that are a part of this and the buyers come in and the shorts try to jump out and then you know then we get the short squeeze and next thing you know, maybe this continues lower, but it's like three hours later and I don't want to be up all night. So candle is closing. I'm happy it almost hit the target. I was able to get out for a decent profit, $190. So pretty sweet. YM didn't set up yet. doesn't look like YM is going to set up. Um, if it sets up in the next half hour, I'll take it. But if not, I'm going to go do some other things and then I'll just be back for the morning session. All right. It feels good to be back, back out of rehab. First trade out of the gate in the evening session, a quick green trade, 190. Wish I would have bought more contracts now, but um, I got to start. I just got to keep going slow right now. My account's still at risk. You know, I have $5,736 in my account after this trade, which is sweet. But it's not that far away from getting back to 3000 something, you know, under 4000 If I'm risking 500 a trade, three trades, four trades, and it's back at rehab, that's it's not a lot. So I need to take it easy and just get my, you know, $150 to $200 trades, $300 trades, and just kind of stay in that bracket down there um, until I can get this account back to like 8000 And then I can boost it up to the 500s again and then continue scaling up from there. Order submitted. Okay, so in the trade to the long side, let me get my stop in the right spot. Yep. 
Okay, so just got stopped out of that trade. Was going to put a speed bump in, but I didn't get it in in time. So now I'm down. My, my account is down $20 for the night so far. I was up 190 Now I'm down 20 bucks. So I had my stop below this uh, support area. Came down just enough to tag me out. And now I'm looking to uh, potentially put a speed bump in here. Order submitted. Okay, now I'm short. Uh, I'd be making so much money right now. I had to get my four contracts. I'm not a fan of scaling into a trade if the trade is already moving towards my target. I only scale in when the trade moves towards my stop and I get in at a discount basically. That yeah. filled. All right, there we go. So I took my $190 profit for the evening down to $30 instead. And I'm up so late. I wish I was sleeping right now. All right, I'll take my 30 bucks and uh, see you in the morning. Okay, just jumped into the MNQ morning session. Here we are in the morning session, jumped into MNQ. Got in a little late trying to get videos recording, getting everything going, but I'm in the trade uh, looking for, mark up my chart here in a few seconds. Not a huge move here, but definitely a little bit of a move. Okay, so my, my trade is in an MNQ. I didn't trade the NQ this morning because the risk was too high. So I had to jump into the MNQ. I may have missed my move. My target was right there in the green. Um, we'll see if it wants to get back through that target. Hopefully it will. And then I can move my stop up and then uh, see where it goes. But man, that's too bad. I hit that target. Uh, gold is setting up for a trade too right now. I'd love to get out of MNQ right there and not have to manage two trades. So gold, I'll have to trade over in the minis as well. It's too high a risk. I've got two minutes and I'll jump over to gold. Let's see if this wants to boost through here and I can move my stop up. All right, through the target. So capturing that. Let's see how this thing wants to run. If it wants to run, going to go back over to GC. 10 seconds, going to buy my two contracts of that. Order filled. All right, got in just a skosh late. Stop filled. All right, looks like we got out of MNQ. Uh, sell stop market. Order submitted. I do sell stop markets because a couple times before during um, during the combine, I did limit orders and they just they didn't get they didn't get filled. So I'm just doing market orders on my stops now. Three one five. So with MNQ, I made one hundred and ten dollars in the micros. Had I been in the minis, I would have been a thousand dollars. Would have been sweet, huh? Gold, gold hits this target. That would have been another thousand dollars. Could have been a pretty epic day if I just stayed in the regular ones. But if it went the other way, it'd be a, a huge losing day. So I can't, I can't do it. All right, gold. Let's get up to these targets. Let's go. Be nice to make over two hundred today because uh, I need one more day before I could take another payout. I don't want to take another payout, but it's nice to have that option. So if I can make over two hundred today, that'd be pretty sweet. Right, I'm gonna put my speed bump in just in case gold goes south. Uh, sell stop market two. I'll stop market four. Order submitted. Okay. So I got a speed bump in for gold just in case it goes the wrong direction. And sometimes it can go fast. Gold can go really fast sometimes. So the downside with gold right now that's making me nervous is we got all these, you know, lower lows and lower highs. It's struggling right here. So is this gonna be a lower lower high to make a lower low? That's what making me nervous with gold here. Nice move up though. I'll see. Just looking to get to this level right here. Almost there. Okay, could be a nice opportunity to add to my position here. Let's go ahead and add. Buy. Order filled. All right, so we added to the position in gold. Now that retrace, so now I can reduce my risk on those additional contracts. I don't like to add to my position when it's going in my trade's favor because I feel like sooner or later that's going to run out and it's going to roll over. If I'm adding into that, then I'm raising my average, which means I have a higher probability of losing money on the trade. Whereas if it comes back down towards my stop and I get in, then that money that I'm getting in at with down there is, you know, pretty cheap money. It's really low risk um, on the trade. So I like to add to my positions when a retrace opportunity happens, but I don't like to do it when it's on its way up. And then the nice thing is once I've added on a retrace, when it starts to move higher, I could pull those off, which then reduces my possibility, my amount on if I have a loser, and helps me lock in some profits. Okay, new one hour candles opening now. One hour, five minute, one minute, 30 minute, 10 minute, 15 minute, all those time frames, the new one's opening. So here we go. 
So a lot of people are looking at those, waiting for closes of those candles to make their next move. So that close just happened. Let's see what it does. Went down first, so I hope that means it's going to boost much higher. We'll see. This first five minutes will tell a little bit. Looking for a pop up here so I can get these two out that I have right now, and then I'll leave the two on, the original two. Kind of just want to get my whole position out of gold, actually, in profit. Looks like we're getting into the chop shop. Could be going lower. I don't know, but I don't like it. Okay, looks like I'm going to get stopped out of gold here. Order filled. Okay, short gold now. Eight contracts, short. All right, gold. It's big money on the table right now. Get down here. Okay, gold, almost to my target. Come on, don't do it. Push through there, gold. Come on. Uh oh. This will be a disaster if gold rips higher. Don't do it, gold. Wow, this will be really bad. Come on, gold, let's go. I'm trying to be a little patient with gold here. Hope it doesn't bite me in the rear. Order filled. Okay. I wanted to be patient with gold, but I'm gonna take it off there. So the speed bump is just for me to recover, you know, my my loss, which I recovered that no problem in gold. Ended up making an extra hundred and um or whatever it was, didn't make an extra 114, made a little extra money. So now the account is at $254 in profit on the day. But here's the thing. So if you, when I was trading the combine and trading in the XFA, you can see right here profit and loss clo uh, loss closed, 254. p and 254. Good thing I got out, right? Look at it starting to come back up. So, but in the combine and in the XFA, this didn't wasn't the same. I had my profit closed and then my actual PL, which was after commission. So I could look here and see how much money I'm making on the day. Now that I'm in the live account, it doesn't do that anymore. Now I have to go over here and do the math in my head. So right here, account balance is where my account is right now. Five thousand seven hundred and fifty-eight dollars. Cash on hand, five thousand five hundred and forty-nine dollars. So I have to do the math here to see did I qualify for my two hundred dollar day? Am, am I going to get that for today or not? So I I don't I don't like that. I wish it still showed P and L after commissions, and not just leaving these two numbers the same. But it is that's how it is. So a bunch of days I thought when I was in my rehab that I had made more than two hundred dollars in a day, and I was like, oh sweet, I got another I got another qualifying day. But then uh, they weren't showing up on the dashboard. I'm like, what is going on? And then I double check this the next day and then realize that they changed it. So now it doesn't actually reflect my profit after p &L, or after our commissions. So I have to do that over here. So anyway, just uh, don't be surprised when you go to the live account if uh, these don't if these are the same now and you have to figure it out by subtracting your account balance from cash on hand to see how much you um, are making after commissions. So right now I got two hundred eight dollars in profit on the day. So I qualify for my, my green day. If I stop trading right now and I don't trade YM, I'll qualify, click that fifth day, and then I'll have the option for a payout should I need it. Knowing that I'm like one day away from being able to take a payout, it's kind of a little bit of a psychological battle. Like, oh, I need to click that so I can qualify for a payout kind of thing. So that's gone. So payouts are covered. I don't have to worry about that um, if I stop trading right now. But I'm going to wait. If YM does set up, I'll take it. And then hopefully I don't give away my day. But um, I need to take every available trade because that's based what my trade plan is based on. All right. Just a couple seconds left. Jumping in short. YM. Order submitted. Whoa. It's tight, tight, tight. No, no, no. Okay. I do need to leave here in about 10 minutes. So I don't have a whole lot of time to monkey with this trade. I have a nice green day right now if I take my trade off the table. If I can click $6,000 again. Nice psychological win. First day back after rehab. So I'm going to go ahead Order and um, get rid of that speed bump and look to just lock in a nice psychological victory here and then go go ahead and start my day. I didn't realize how late it is already. Almost 1230, 11.30 almost. Come on, YM. Push down here again. Give it to me so I can get out. I don't really want to take it off early because I feel like it still has a lot of room to run. Up filled. But I'll take it. So I'm out of the trade on YM. Nice $500 day. First day back after rehab. I'll take that 500 bucks. 
six thousand dollars now in the account so account is growing back nicely I have a few more trading days this week maybe I can get back to eight thousand dollars actually tomorrow might be my last day trading this week so I don't know if we'll get to eight thousand in one day but whatever it is all good I'll take what the market gives me back on track all right everybody see you on the next trade